Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. I this will be the fourth video I've recorded today. I have video one, well, video two, video three, and video one right here. So I was talking to my friend Jason. We talk almost every day, all day long, off and on. There's a couple of days maybe during the week we don't talk. I was like, okay, I've got three videos I've filmed today. I've got videos two and three to wash off. Uh, should I, I kind of want to film another video. What should I film? So I gave him some options and he picked this one. So I'm going to be talking about real words um, that I, well, they're words that I use in place of real words. So this is going to be like my take on certain things or things that I say that aren't like legit real words. Um, so the first one is YERP, Y-E-R-P. When I was about 13 or 14, my friend Alan was a security guard at the local mall and my brother and I used to go there a lot. Um, and then I started working at the mall when I was like 16 or 17. Um, so he worked there all the way up until I was like in my mid twenties and he worked for Lake County Sheriff's Department after that. But instead of saying like yep or yes, he would always use the word yerp. So like every time we would talk on like Yahoo Messenger or through email or in person, he would always say yerp. So <laughs> that's the first word and I've used it for like over 25 years. So if you ever like talk to me or you get a message back from me or a reply on a comment, you get the word yerp, that's why. Um, it's just something that I say in place of yes or yep, you know, so. It's just kind of like a funny, a lot of people are like, yerp, the hell is yerp? So the next one is frozen, F-R-O-Z-E-D, frozen. And I'll like try and like put the words on the screen or something in the way that I spell them so that you know. And what it means to me is the word frozen. Um, I live in Florida. It's about 75 here right now. It's been beautiful all day. It was a little chilly this morning. It was probably mid 60s when I first got up. Oh, no, you can go away, mosquito. Um, yeah, no, go away. Bugs. Um, so like when it's cold here, I'm like, man, I am so frozen. It's not even funny. Not frozen, but frozen. God, I've seen a lot of people bringing hay down the road today. Hey, hey, hey. Um, the next one, I killed it. Just so you know, only female mosquitoes bite. Bitches. The next one is snoof. S-N-O-O-F, snoof. So I started saying this a couple of years ago because my cat, he would like sniff me and then he'd go, <laughs> And I'm like, don't snoof on me. It means like sneeze. So it's like, I guess it's like a combination of the words sniff and sneeze because that's usually what happens. He sniffs something and then he sneezes, but I call it a snoof instead. So yeah, I, I snoof quite a bit because I have allergies and I'm allergic to cats actually, but I love them. Um, my dad has a household full of them and I kind of can't escape them but I snoof a lot. The next thing is elephant. That one should be pretty self-explanatory. It is E-L-I-F-I-N-K. Ellie Fink. It means elephant. So um, when we're like sitting in the office, like working, my dad's on his computer, I'm on mine, and we have like squirrels run through the attic, which they do quite often. I'm like, man, it sounds like there's elephants in the damn attic, which we don't have an attic. We have a crawl space because I, again, I live in Florida. Um, but yeah, I use the word elephant instead of elephant uh, for anything that's like sounds larger than it actually is, especially when there's rodents trumbling around in the, in the crawl space above our heads. Uh, and so it's just, you know, something cute. The other one is, um, friend. F-R-E-N or F-R-I-N instead of friend. F, uh, like, sometimes I'll say F-R-E-N, sometimes I spell it F-R-I-N, but it's like, hey friend. Uh, it's just, again, it's one of those like 
idiosms or like funny things that I say that it doesn't like it doesn't really mean a whole lot it just it's just another take on an actual you know like word uh, the other one is deef d-e-e-f which means stupid or dumb deef is like a word my dad started using when I was a teenager he would always say are you deef uh, so I kind of picked it up along the way and I started using the word deef. So instead of like flat out calling somebody stupid to their face, I'm like, are you deef? <laughs> it also could mean deaf, but you know, deef, D-E-E-F. The next one is hi, which is spelled H-A-I. Um, butterfly. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, the, go away, bud. The simple word of H-I is just not enough. I game a lot, so when I get into like a co-op match on like StarCraft II, or I join a game on Heroes of the Storm, or I like, I do like a group activity, or I join a raid um, on like say Arcage, or I'm in Warframe and I'm in a, uh, you know, I'm on a map and somebody joins my party because I've got it on public, I always say H-A-I. It just means hi. Just my my version of it. The next one is meh. M-E-H. Now, I understand that to some people meh means like meh, meh, meh. It's like one of those like whatever kind of words, but I use it in the place of the word me. So meh, M-E-H for me. Granted, I'm just taking the word and just adding another letter, but you know, we all have our issues. The next one is chute, C-H-U-T-E, kind of like the game we used to play when we were toddlers, which is shoots and ladders, but it's chute, which is in replacement for the word shoot. So instead of me saying, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to say, I say, I'm going to shoot you, shoot you. I'm going to shoot you dead. Oh, the other one that we use is uh, dead, D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Not D-E-A-D, it's D-E-D, -E -D, dead. So that's another word that, that especially my dad and I use. He's like, I'm gonna chew you dead. D-E-D, -E -D, you're gonna you're gonna be D-E-D -E -D, dead. So it's just something cute that, that again that we use that I guess it, it's like one of those like inside joke things. What a dumbass. I mean, sorry. Um the last one that I have is probably the funniest, and a lot of my friends laugh when they hear me say this. It is dirty hose. Dirty hose. Now, I'm not talking about girls being hose. I'm talking about Doritos. So I take the word Doritos and I turn it into dirty hose. Um, my dad and I usually fight over the Doritos potato chips, whether it's uh, the Cool Ranch style or the nacho cheese style. Those are the only two that we really eat because um, the other, the, like the, the spicy nacho ones, like not only do they set my mouth on fire, but they give me horrible heartburn and gas and indigestion and it's not pretty. So like if I've got the bag of Doritos on my desk and my dad's like, hey, can I have some dirty hose? I'm like, Get your own dirty hose. They're my dirty hose. <laughs> so it's just something that my dad and I, I say that's kind of funny. It's like a play on words because Doritos, dirty hose, it's six and one half dozen. That phrase comes from my friend Ken. <laughs> he, was a he was in the Marines and I guess people that are in the Marines are always a Marine. Like my dad was Navy and he just says retired Navy, but a Marine never says retired. Once a Marine, always Marine. I don't know. But he always said the word six and one half dozen. Um, but yeah, that is literally, um, and then I've got more words that I say. This is just, this is a video idea that I had like a while ago. I literally have an entire list. Let me go to where I have that written down. Um, I guess I can, I can check this one off. Um, I have an entire list of video ideas that I still need to film. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff to film, but I'm, 
I don't know, I've been, I was sick for like a week and a half with a migraine and a headache and it was a headache one day and like the next day it would turn into a migraine and then I would have a headache the next day after that and then I'd end up with migraine symptoms the day after. So for like a week and a half solid uh, recently, I was dealing with some form of head pain. So now that I'm like two days, no head pain, it's been amazing. I filmed, this will be the eighth video in, in less than 24 hours that I filmed. So yeah, I've been kind of on a roll. It's nice to be head pain free. I'm never like, I'm never pain free, but to not have like the wah, wah, wah in my head has been, has been nice. So um, yeah, this is the things that I say in place of real words uh, video. Let me know if you guys use any words in place of like real legit words. Uh, do you have things that you say in place of like real words. Some of the other videos that I have that are going to be like things that I want to film um, that are kind of like this are things YouTubers say I don't. Yesterday I filmed things I've never owned or bought. Um, so yeah, if you have other ideas, I've been going through some, oh, I got eyeshadow all over my shirt now, because um, I literally have swatches on both arms and my hand. Um, but yeah, I, I've been going through like all of my little notebooks and stuff to find all of the, the video ideas that I, I have a whole bunch of them written down somewhere. I just haven't found the notebook yet, but as soon as I do, I'll try and I'll add it to the list. Um, I'm slowly working through this one. I think I have like nine more swatch videos to get through before I'm even done with those. So, uh, yeah, recently I have filmed yellow gold yesterday was purple and a couple of days before that was red so i'm kind of on a roll i'm getting going so i will see you guys later hopefully you all are having a fantastic day or night wherever you are that your weather is beautiful and that you are practicing social distancing and staying i mean if you have like property like i do it's okay for you to go outside but if you live in like an apartment and you walking out your front door you could run into like three other people probably not the best to leave your apartment you know it's just what it is um, but hopefully with me recording these outside that you're getting a little bit of nature um, in like the video scenes and I have a beautiful front yard. I even have a beautiful backyard, but it's just easier to film out here because then I can sit on the concrete driveway or sidewalk. I'm sitting on the sidewalk right now and it makes it easier for me to like sit and record. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.